Hi there, Ormskirt Baron here. I'd like to talk this evening about the following bottles in front of me. These arrived this week from Owls by Mail. These are their six beers that they're doing in their next virtual beer festival. And uh, basically they're going to be doing uh, tasting the six different beers starting at 8 o'clock each evening and they're going to be running through them. The uh, dates in question are Friday the 14th of October and Saturday the 15th of October starting at 8 o'clock. They're going to be tasting them they're on Twitter. They want people to basically join in and talk about the beers and stuff on Twitter. And if you use the hashtag hash VBF for Virtual Beer Festival, then everyone will be able to join in and have a good little chat amongst it. I'm going to be there as well, at least on the Friday night. Probably not on the Saturday, but the Friday night I'll be around. So I just want to talk through this, the uh, six different beers. There's some uh, some winners in here. There's a few I've tried, a few I haven't. So let's uh, start over here. This is Isla Ale's Angus Og Ale. It's bottle conditioned. Isla Ale's um, kind of quite special. Ale's by Mail are the... Um, the sort of sole distributor in the UK of Isla Ales. This is a pale ale brewed with uh, crystal malts and then hops of Goldings, Mountain Hood and Bobeck. I'm assuming that's going to be quite nice and spicy, fairly decent pale ale. Callum Island's Easy Rider. This is this is a class beer. It's uh, blonde coloured, full bodied ale, smooth and creamy on the palate, light citrus. When we barometered this, we really liked it. We gave it a four out of five. It's a very good quaffing beer. It's uh, 4.3%, so it's not going to not going to be too too heavy on you, but it's really really tasty. So by the way, the uh, the Angus Og beer is 4.5%, and camera says it's real ale, which uh, well we'll wait to see what that's actually like. But uh, bottle conditioning can be good, or as as you know, if you follow my site, it can also be horrendous. Next along, alphabetically, is Limestone Brewery's Foundation Stone. This is 4.5%. Um, tried this one a little while ago. I thought it was alright. I gave it a 3 out of 5. Tried it as part of um, a different pack of beer that I received. But it'd be interesting to see what other people think of this. Um, I'm sure my palate is kind of a little bit different from a lot of people's now. So interesting. But it's brewed stone in Staffordshire. And it's a golden ale crafted pale in crystal malts, biscuity and chewy, juicy fruits, and a bit of pepperiness as well. So it sounds like a good English pale ale. There's a beer here from a brewery that I've not. Uh, not tried before. This is Quantock Brewery. This is their White Hind Full Bodied Best Bitter, 4.5% from uh, from the Heart of Somerset. I've not tried this one yet, or any of their beers actually. And uh, it's a uh, full bodied premium and amber bitter with flavours arising from the malts. It's pleasing, bitter, and dry finish. It's bottle conditioned, and camera says it's real ale. So well, that will be an interesting one to try. Westerham Brewery. I like these guys. They do good beers. British Bulldog Best Bitter. I've tried this before. We gave it a gave it a pretty good score on the old Baron ratings. Um, camera says it's real ale again. It's a bit floral, citrusy and earthy. It's a bit sweet and hoppy. 4.3%. Nice label. Westerham know what they're doing. They're, they're good beers. And uh, alphabetically last, but also probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. This is Windsor and Eaton Brewery's Conqueror. It's their black IPA at 5%. Um... I have tried this on cask and it was absolutely amazing. Um, so it would be really interesting to try it bottled. It's um, basically a 5% black IPA. It's rich, complex and very distinctive. Brewed with five different malts along with Summit and Cascade hops. So the Cascade hops are going to give it that absolutely delicious citrusy, uh, citrusy finish on it. And then all the different malts are going to give that lovely smoky roasted body. That out of all of them is the one I'm really looking forward to trying. Um, but uh, oh, so overall, again, if we just pan through, got the Isla Owls Angus Og, Callum Island Easy Rider, Limestone Foundation Stone, Quantock White Hind, British Bulldog BB from Westerham, and Windsor and Eaton's Conqueror. Um, you must admit, I think that's a pretty good selection. And again, like I said, on Friday the 14th and Saturday the 15th of October, uh, Owls by Mal are going to be running their virtual beer festival with these six beers. And uh, basically tweeting from 8pm using the hashtag VBF, you'll be able to uh, basically drink them and comment along. Um, Owls by Mel is on the website since 6, 12 and 24 packs, so choose, uh, choose your tipple. And I'll see you guys on the Friday the 14th. Um, I think I might even be uh, running uh, one or two of the tastings, so uh, hopefully see you then. Anyway, this is the Ormskirt Baron uh, from uh, www.theormskirtbaron.com. Um, saying thank you very much to Owls by Mail, owlsbymail.com 
for uh, sending through their virtual beer selection and uh, asking me if I'd uh, run one of their sessions. So brilliant. Thank you very much.